NVIDIA and AMD just released this generation of 60 series of GPUs. NVIDIA released its worst GPU this generation in the RTX 4060 Ti, while AMD released the both loved and hated RX 7600. But the one thing nobody is talking about is, why did AMD adjust the price of the 7600? And is NVIDIA actively working to keep AMD Radeon alive? Let's get into it. NVIDIA released its RTX 4060 Ti on May 24th, and it was not greeted with a very warm reception by reviewers. I thought the reception of the 4070 was bad. Well, these 4060 Ti reviews make the 4070 reviews look good. And launch day sales of the 4060 Ti are one-tenth of the 4070. Well, there was one review that suggested the 4060 Ti was going to become like the GTX 1060 because, and I quote, it's punching above its weight. What the hell? I don't agree. The 4060 Ti is barely better than the 3060 Ti. That comment would have been appropriate in December of 2020 for the launch of the 3060 Ti, not for the 4060 Ti. That video is out of touch with reality, and based on the backlash that video received, it was removed. And AMD released the RX 7600 one day later, and those reviews were very much mixed. Some hated the GPU, while others offered praise. It is very clear in the reviews that the RX 7600 is not in the same class as the 4060 Ti, and it will be very much like the 4060. In fact, it is not very much better than its own similarly priced 6650 XT. That came as a disappointment, and it explains why AMD had to drop the price at the very last minute, making all of AMD's day one reviewers upset as they had to redo their conclusions. So while everyone is talking about the last minute price reduction, nobody's asking why. It is clear that AMD had settled on a price of $299 and that it was communicated to reviewers as Gamers Nexus showed. Then one day before the reviews went live on May 24th, they dropped the price 10% to make it $269. Just like with the launch of the 7900 GPUs, the performance fell short of expectations for this new RDNA 3 GPU. Whatever happened to RDNA 3 and 50% performance per watt? And with the reduced performance, it was going to be very much like the 4060. AMD knows from last generation that selling a GPU with the same performance at the same price as an NVIDIA GPU is a losing proposition. But how did AMD know it will be the same performance as a 4060? Because the week prior, on May 18th, NVIDIA released the performance and the price of the 4060 even though it will not launch for another two months. So what nobody is talking about is why did Jensen release the 4060 information before the launch of AMD's RX 7600? If the 7600 had launched at 299, then that GPU would have been slaughtered in the day one reviews. If you are running a business, don't you want your competition to get slaughtered in the reviews? Companies work very hard to keep performance and price information secret. That information provides a competitive edge in the market. If any NVIDIA employee would leak performance and price information of a new GPU prior to launch, they most assuredly would be fired. If I am running the business, I want my competitor to release their GPU at the high price, get slaughtered in all the day one reviews, and then one day later, I release my information on my new GPU. Why did Jensen not wait one week? Wait until the day after AMD releases the 7600 for sale, then come out with the RTX 4060 information. What is the potential risk of waiting until one day later? At most, he would lose up to one day of sales? But in this down market, nobody is lining up to buy a new GPU. From a business perspective, that early release of 4060 information does not make any sense. So why? I would love to be one of those analysts in the quarterly earnings call to ask that very question. But let's think deeper about this. Could it be that Jensen gave that information away because he is trying to keep AMD Radeon around in some capacity? With the recent launch disasters of AMD Radeon, Jensen gave them a lifeline of sorts. Jensen understands that he needs AMD Radeon to exist in some capacity in the market. And as I showed in this video, AMD Radeon market share is lower now than it's ever been. 
Jensen needs Radeon to increase its market share so that NVIDIA doesn't get the attention of regulators and maybe be declared a monopoly. If I am Jensen and I need my competitor to stay in the market with some level of market share, then I want them to hold the market share at the lowest end of the GPU market. I would be more than happy to give my competitor the low end of the market while I keep the more lucrative and higher margin mid to upper end of the market for myself. And in this data from my video, it shows that Nvidia now has a lower percentage of their product mix at the low end. And if I am Jensen, I don't want them to have yet another launch disaster. I don't want people running AMD Radeon to get fired. I want them to be in charge. I want them to continue the bumbling and the fumbling around as they provide no serious threat to his GPU empire. Jensen knows that AMD is supply constrained. I talked about this when AMD released the 6600 XT. AMD can only purchase so many wafers from TSMC. Since AMD has moved over to TSMC for all of its GPU die, starting with the seven nanometer node in 2019, the amount of GPUs they can ship is averaging about 2.5 million GPUs per year. Jensen needs AMD to keep that up. By releasing the 4060 information one week early, AMD is able to react by adjusting the pricing accordingly to slot into NVIDIA's pricing structure. Effectively, Jensen helped AMD Radeon avert yet another disastrous launch. He helped prop up that failing AMD GPU division. He provided a lifeline of sorts. With more favorable day one reviews, AMD should be able to sell some GPUs in the market and keep some level of market share. But again, Jensen wouldn't do something like that in AMD's best interest. No, he would only release information early if it was in Nvidia's best interest. He can't have AMD Radeon market share drop any further. He needs AMD to have some market share and that will keep the attention of regulators off of Nvidia as a monopoly in the GPU market. Let me know in the comments below, if AMD had launched the 7600 at $300, would it have been dead on arrival? Did the last minute price drop to 269 make this launch acceptable? This lack of any sort of fight coming from AMD Radeon's new GPU launches over the past couple of generations really puzzles me. In a few months, they'll be discounting this one too. Why not launch it at the discounted price for the win? Like, share, and subscribe. Check out these videos on AMD's recent behavior in previous GPU launches. Thank you all so very much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.